You know, becoming a powerful presenter can solve many things in your professional life, right? Like Shalini was asking me a question, how to cajole people into buying your stuff? My suggestion is to improve your presentation skills. So here are my top 10 ways to be a remarkable presenter. Number one, you become the person you want to be from the same very moment. If you're simply wishing to be a great public speaker one day, you want to be a remarkable presenter one day, I would say, get rid of wanting and start behaving like a public speaker from day one. You're sitting with your family, crack a joke, take initiative, have fun, speak, roaming around with the friends, tell them a story again, crack a joke, grab all the opportunities, as many opportunities as you can in your office for presenting, for communicating. So start behaving like a public speaker from day one. Don't wait for one day, right? Remember, you become the person you want to be from the same very moment. Oh, come on, no. Let me help you get rid of this erroneous notion. Many people have started believing content is not important. Oh, man. Just go through all the remarkable speeches or powerful presentations. You'll realize their delivery, of course, it was powerful, but their content was superpower. So I would say give extra weightage to your content. Dig deeper. Do a lot of research. Bring something out of the box, and people love it. Harsh asked me a question, how to destroy fear? I think, Harsh, we need to have better understanding, right? Because to fear is human, and fear is the form of energy. Not even a single iota of energy can either be destroyed or created. So why do you want to destroy something, my friend, that can never be destroyed? It's important to understand it. It's okay to look afraid, because to fear is human. But yes, you can learn how to manage it. Then Seema asked me a question. I'm always afraid of being judged. Oh, come on, Seema. Say kumbaya. Because we humans were being judged, are judged, will always be judged. I am judged day in, day out, here, here. You guys are being judged wherever you go because we humans judge one another. That's absolutely fine. Why wasting your time thinking about it that I'm being judged because I'm being judged? It's important to break the shackles and feel free. Freedom is the greatest weapon we have, Seema. So stay kumbaya. Enjoy your freedom. Okay, it's time for the next one.